sometimes we have people asking, what do you do in adoration? What do I do? Because I've seen people in an adoration chapel reading a newspaper because they, they don't know what to do when they're spending time with Jesus in the Eucharist. And here are a couple of tips for you that Mary reportedly gives us through Father Gobi. She says, before the tabernacle, yours should be not only a presence of prayer, but also of a communion of life with Jesus. Jesus is really present in the Eucharist because he wants to enter into a continual communion of life with you. When you go before him, he sees you. When you speak to him, he hears you. When you confide something to him, he always hears your prayer. So just to stop right there, how many of us have a friend that we can confide in? And all the more our mother is saying, Jesus should become our most trusted friend. The, the one we confide everything to, especially the things that are most difficult. A lot of times we hear of people being lonely and not having anyone to support them and love them. But Jesus is always here waiting for us. Jesus is present in the Holy Eucharist. And so our Heavenly Mother goes on to say, Go before the tabernacle to establish with Jesus a simple and daily rapport of life with the same naturalness with which you seek out a friend or entrust yourself to persons who are dear to you or feel the need of friends who assist you. In that same way, go before the tabernacle to seek out Jesus. Make Jesus your dearest friend, the most trusted person, the most desired and the most loved. So an encouragement to all of us, Jesus is here waiting for us. We encourage you to spend time with him in the Eucharist. If you have a perpetual adoration chapel in the area, consider even signing up for an hour or even promoting Eucharistic adoration, even encouraging your priest to have an adoration chapel. And if not, if you're not able to go before Jesus exposed, at least try to find a place where you can spend time before Jesus in the tabernacle to share heart to heart, to just be present to him as he's present to you. Because Jesus is our divine healer. Jesus is truly the answer to all of life's woes. Anything that weighs heavy upon us. We have people writing to us all the time of so many difficulties. And so an encouragement to you to bear your heart to Jesus. To place all into Jesus' heart. And of course into the Mary's immaculate heart. Mary's the one that helps us to dispose ourselves most fully to Jesus. And then together with Jesus and Mary, you can encounter our Heavenly Father. And so in closing, I'd like to share with you what Jesus tells us through St. Margaret Mary. St. Margaret Mary was in adoration one day, and Jesus came forth from the Eucharist like this, with his sacred heart exposed. And this is what he told her to tell us. Behold this heart, which has loved men most, and is so little loved in return. I thirst with such a terrible thirst to be loved by you in the most blessed sacrament. So Jesus is thirsting for us. May we thirst for him, for communion with him as well. Holy Mother, Mother of the Eucharist, pray for us. We love you and we pray for you. God bless you.